Hello my peeps. Today we're looking at this very nice Morgan Silver Dollar Silver Dollar from 1885. And as you can see, I mean it looks very beautiful, it has a nice shine to it. I think that's actually because of plastic. But you know me, I always like to stick stuff underneath the microscope. So I want to see what it looks like. <clears throat> and like with Every single coin I, I actually purchase out there, I always do uh, a, valid, a check to make sure it's real, basically. And as you can see, I got two tools on my desk. And these tools are a magnet and a scale for this coin right here. And so we're going to find out, will it be attracted to a magnet? And will it weigh 26.73 grams? Well, one way to find out. So f I'm going to have to take it out of this case first, so give me a second on that one. Okay, our first test for this Morgan is the magnet. In case you're wondering if it's real, I actually do have, well, I have to find it first. I have a steel penny, so I, I can check it for real. But... Let's see here. As you could hear, it's magnetic. So it automatically, it automatically fails the test of it actually being a real coin for the first time because of magnet test. If this was silver, it would not be magnetic. But for fun of it, for shits and giggles, I pop out my scale, zero it out, there you go. Okay, now that is actually close to six grams short of what it should weigh. And that's how you know it failed the second test because it ran six grams short. It may be a gram or two short depending on how much wear and tear the coin has, but as you can see by the look of this, this coin for its condition should be weighing 26.73 grams, give or take a, gram, a point gram or so. But besides that, you know, we're going to throw this bad boy in the microscope, so stick with me on that one. And as you saw, my peeps out there, my um, coin is fake. But that does not mean I'm not going to stick it under the microscope and look at it so we can actually see what helps you to identify a fake by looking at it. So stick with me as we check that out and see what other evil stuff is on this coin. So stay with me. Okay, my peeps. As you can see from the other video right here, this beautiful little thing right there. Yeah, point that that way. <laughs> I have the Morgan under the microscope, and let's see here. I mean, besides, you know, I mean, she does look silver. You got to admit that she does look silver. Uh, she looks like she's blind. She has an eyeball. Well, I don't know if she does. And like you got a dye chip right there. You, yeah, I know it's fake, but still, it's a dye chip nonetheless. I mean, they did try to do some good toning on it. I'm actually going to do a future video of, well, uh, I'll let that out in the open so you guys should figure out what that is when I actually film it and put it up. <clears throat> I mean, everything looks legit. The basic rule of counterfeit coins as well as well not counterfeit coins but as replica coins go if it's a replica coin the coin has to have something different on it to to denote that it's a replica i mean for instance on the peace dollar if you get a peace dollar that's a replica the um it sh the piece on there should be removed it's, it's, it's a replica or a counterfeit or it'll say replica on it as well but as you can see, we're looking at this coin right here. And if you can see, we got the five, we got the eight, we got the eight. I mean, if we, if we block some of the light off here, uh, it doesn't work that way. It almost, it almost looks like doubling in the in the date. 
even though it's counterfeit. Let me move my mouse. And if you look right there, you got all I got all this errors on here. I mean, otherwise, for being a mold cast coin, because that's basically what this is, it's not it's not done by a minting press, it's done by a mold cast. Um they did pretty good on some of the detail. It almost looks like right there. She has an eyeball, almost. Like she's like give, she's looking at out the side of her eye at you, like please, like no, you didn't. <laughs> but otherwise, besides that, I mean, the front detail is not that bad. No, actually, I was wrong. Let's see, if you look, it almost looks like look at that. I don't think the Morgans look like that. In fact, I know they don't. And then we're gonna pop over the back, and we are gonna check this bad boy out. You got another mold chip right there above the T, as you can see. Because like I said, these are mold cast coins. These aren't these aren't mint mint coins. Because if this is a mint coin, that E right there and that D right there would be considered errors, or especially E. Look at E right there. It's like almost connecting, like it's a weird letter right there and then also if you look you got the cc right there which stands for carson city carson city coins are actually worth a lot a lot of money i saw bullion shark they had a oh my gosh what was it um i forget exactly what year it was it was an 18 I think 1885 carson city morgan silver dollar and it was selling it for like fifty four thousand dollars no joke. And I don't think they sold it, but hey, you know, it was $54,000, and I'm not about to pay that much for a, a coin. Unless I actually have the money to afford it, then I still probably wouldn't. <laughs> but as you look, you got errors right there on the L, on both L's. There's like so much so much wrong with it. I mean, look, you can look right there. You got a little chip right there. You got this hangout right there. Then on the other L, you got the hangout. You have the chip, the chip. The chip on the front. See, they did do some make it different so you know it was sort of fake because all the errors they made on this, I mean, to make it look real. I mean, but the detail, besides that, the detail in the actual picture is really, really good. I mean, they did, well. I guess they did good on the eagle, except for, I'm, I'm not sure if his face actually looks like that. I mean, they gave an eye, and it looks like it's an evil eyeball. And let's see, here we got in God. I have no idea what that says. That's like a massive mold cast error in there. <laughs> I wish this was real because this thing with all these errors on it would be worth so much money. In God we trust. Hmm. But now, the more fun part. We're actually going to zoom in on this bad boy. We're going to get point blank range and we're going to see something. Maybe. If I can clear it up. Oh, there you go. Now, I don't know about you, <clears throat> but there's your G for you. So does that, is, is that supposed to be like a Russian god or something like that? Because that almost looks like a Russian G. <laughs> you know how they do their, their, their emblems and stuff like that. But I mean, look at all the texture on this thing. It should, for these type of coins, it should actually be a smoother texture. It shouldn't actually have all these bumps on it, especially for being silver. So I've shown a few silver coins on here before, and they were actually a lot more bitter looking as far as texture-wise goes. Yes, there's a few scratches on it because of wear and tear and PMD and stuff like that, but otherwise, I mean, <clears throat> you've got a little niche right there on the C, on the A, you got a dent right there. <laughs> you got some... <laughs> You got some blistering on the R. You got the L that's like 
fat and not looking right. Another one. And you look at the CC. And there, there's your proof of mold cast right there. I mean, look at that damage to that D. If this was MS67 plus condition, it would not look like that at one bit. And plus, also, if this was actually done by a die, not by a mold press, it also would not look like that. So always check your coins. It's always good to have a microscope and check your coin, check on your coins. Because you never know what you'll find if you actually have a real one or not. Because see, there's another sign of a mold cast right there. Um, sorry if this is running long. I just want to show you guys everything that's going to be wrong with the... Uh, if you look for it, what you could find wrong with your coins, like you got like a bumper there about the T. I think I pointed that out. Look at this E, how it's separate. I think what where, where was it? I showed the other E. God. I had another E I showed you. I think it might have been on the front. Um, where it was all like one piece. That we still gotta get that Russian God in there, you know. Let's look at the front. Let's see if I can actually find that E for you guys. United, US, United. There's, they have fat that U is. They have fat that M is. And they said the, the, the mint mark is Carson City, even though this is, you know, this is a fake coin. They told you that a few times. I mean, but for a fake coin, they did actually pretty good on the detailing. Now, if the ash would have done a lot better on it, I'll say the silver content and making it weigh properly and, you know, all that good stuff. I don't know. If, I don't remember where I saw that E that was like one, like one. There you go. See, mold cast doubling. Look at that, in the, in that, that B right there. That just horrid. Just crappy, you know. I don't think I can find it. I mean, but besides that, I mean, like I said, I mean, besides the supposable looks of wear and tear you can see on here, <clears throat> they didn't really do that bad. I mean, they got the, they got the Liberty part right. I've seen other places where the Liberty, they had to misspell it because it's a replica. But otherwise, I mean, yeah, she hasn't she has no eyeball. She doesn't know where she's looking. They did pretty good on the nose and the mouth. I mean. Look at the nose right there. That's not that bad. Like I said, look at all this texture on this thing. It is just horrid. So whenever you get your coins, always check your coins. Make sure that they weigh. Make sure they're non-magnetic, except for steel pennies. That's an exception. And then stick them in a microscope and compare them to other coins you've seen to see what their texture looks like. Because you're going to find coins out there that actually have some good texture to them. I've shown a few pennies on my channel before that actually have some good texture to them that are real. But I've never seen a Morgan with this much texture on it before. So always check your silver. Make sure it's real. Check your gold, too, because trust me, if your gold or your silver sticks to a magnet, then you got some fake crap. <laughs> but until next time, my peeps, you guys have a wonderful day out there. Bye.